Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Trini Out and About with the Ultra Trouble, aka Mr. Macabon. Today, guys, with the Christmas season, the Christmas season start. We are starting our Christmas dishes from here. We are starting to do some from here, right? Um, there's not much you can try and do, much you can do, right? So, today we're starting off the Christmas menu with some chicken pastas. Amazing chicken pastas. Soft, nice, silky, seasoned well chicken. Properly well seasoned chicken, right? So, we're going to share that step by step recipe and we're going to knock up that pot today. So, it's me, wifey, Katie, Chicho, Flower Queen, all I'm in the kitchen. We're going to start this, so let me go knock up. Alright guys, so we're going to start with the pasta recipe you now. We're going to see about the chicken first. And then we're going to do the, um, the, the dough mix there, right? Where's the corn, the corn flour corn, right? So we have the chicken here. I have five pounds of minced chicken I bought. Um, we bought the minced chicken, it wasn't much more of a difference. I got it in a wholesale price, a big deal. So we have five pounds we're going to use. The reason I'm doing the five pounds of, of chicken breast, it will have extra, but I will put the freeze and I will do some more parcels or the real chicken mixer done mix. Right? So, we have all the ingredients here what we're using for the parcel now. We're using some olives, not this stuff, olives, normal olives. Some chopped onion, finely diced. Pimento, finely diced. We're using a little bit of carrots, finely diced. We have garlic, we have the tomato paste, salt, sauce, and black pepper. Um, the soy sauce and ketchup is a replacement for the wash. wash What's the share sauce? And we have the corn, the corn flour here, right? So we're going to start with the mixture, the meat now. So we just add the simple, regular ingredients we always add to the meat. Some sauce and tropical. Right? We add some black pepper. We add some salt. Right, and the ketchup and soy sauce is a replacement for the wash, wash the share, wash the share, sauce, right? Wash the share, wash the share, I think. Yes. Right? Wash the share. We really don't mean to mispronounce, we just try and leave it. Incorporating everything here together. Put it on the green cheese, isn't it? Green season. Let's take over all the dry ingredients first. Okay. 
Oh, you know, my dear, want to see the green season recipe? You can check it out on Trini Flavor as well. And you will see the green season recipe on Trini Flavor, right? You also have a green season recipe on Trini out and about as well. But guys, you need to subscribe to see uh, more of the videos, right? That's the only way you will see more of the videos if you subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> right, so that's it here for the meat. We're going on start with the we're going for the pot of hot and already we're going for the meat to cook. And while the meat cooking, we're gonna do the, the corn, the corn flour recipe and do right. We are the the kids like me with Uncle Randall. Yeah. Ellie! Ellie Belly! <gasps> Say hi! Cherry <Kid. laughs> <Shady> ball. <laughs> Hello, Queen. I just do my hands today. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna add the oil now. So that pot's full on half oil. We are in the chopped onion. We are in the chopped pimentos. We are adding some of the carrots here. Now, no carrots is not maybe you know that you don't add, but you can just add whatever you want to add to it. All right, so like what is missing right now? Um, what people usually add is like the green peas. They usually add the um the raisin, 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 We don't like the raisin in it, so. Well, I guess the order from the video, eh? So we get to survive, please. Would you like more meat than rice? Yeah, so just we add the carrots, right? We add in some salt now. Salt? Yes. a little bit of salt because we didn't add too much salt in the chicken, right? That's not good, right? Just let the onions squat out. And then we add in the, um, some garlic. You don't add the garlic too early because they don't want that garlic to start to burn. And the garlic just cook faster than the onions, right? All right, so leave this about a couple of minutes here. Let's have a um, cook down a bit and then we'll add the chicken. All right, so everything is good here now. The onions and now if you add any meat, right? You add any chicken. Now remember this is extra chicken, a lot of chicken. We're going to have more chicken for pastas, but we're just doing it all together one time. Chicken, you just need to have a finger, sir. Now, you remember you can also use any meat of your choice. Whether it's chicken, turkey, lamb, beef, soya, even soya chunks and all you can use. Yeah. Anything of your choice you want to make in the pastel. Whatever meat you comfortable with, it could use that, right? Yeah, guys, you know, no, maybe it's normally do a veggie version, eh? But um, you don't have fasting done, done, done. <laughs> so chicken only like. So I got this five pound of mince meat for one thirty. For one thirty at um, by Big Hill Supermarket in Montreal. And the normal five pound of chicken breast only was like one twenty. So the twelve dollars, the first was just the mince. So that's why I bought it and I didn't use the mensa this time, right? But the mensa work excellent. Great. The Michelangelo mixer. Ah, uh, meat, meat mensa, sorry. Meat grinder. Work really good. 
I just save some time on here, right? Right. So let it start to cook down. You want to keep, you want to keep breaking up this because you don't want the chicken to clump together. The chicken will clump together and remain one clump. So you just want to keep breaking it up while you're going along. Um, just like we did for the the. The shepherd pie. The shepherd pie, yeah. Just want to keep breaking it up. Yeah, right. right, so I cook down here a little bit. I don't want to make with the, um, with the, with the corn flour now. Not done already. Right, so we still have the chicken here. We didn't um, serve the flour yet. The corn flour yet. Because we just, it was started to clump to the bottom. So just keep working it in like this. And it's coming out with nice pieces, right? So I more believe that this is Thai meat, Thai men's meat. Um, and I think the Thai men's meat is a softer meat. Well, Thai is a softer meat than chicken breast. But it's working out real nice compared to the chicken breast. So I believe it's Thai because I was seeing a little fattening in the chicken. Oh, not really good. We might want to overcook this, you don't want to dry it out too much. Because drying out this to the pastel. Well, that's how the parcel dry inside. But we still have some other little stuff to add to this to finish it off. So it's, it should be good, a nice, moist. A little saucy. A little saucy, something like the shepherd pie. But um, but not so saucy, right? Tell them like it's saucy. Right, we're right. back. Right. Yeah, yeah. Chicken come on nice now. So do you see we just do all the chicken? We have some olives here. That's about a, a, a half cup of olives. We add in the olive steak, cut up finely. This is totally optional to you. Anything you want to add as a steak, you can add, right? Yeah. Exactly. It's not sauce in the chicken let go, but it could dry down. The little tomato paste, you want to the tomato paste. Add in one, two, three, four, right? About five pounds of chicken, right? But then we might add one more. Uh, Average like about one tablespoon to like a pound of the men's meat. Thumbs up there. What? Daddy, get two thumbs up for your chicken, boy. I'll be adding one more. If you do have the tomato paste, you could add ketchup. Right? If you do have the tomato paste. Now, I only got the tomato paste yesterday. If I didn't have the tomato paste, I was going to use the hand sauce, tomato sauce I was going to use. From what we had remaining from the shepherd pie, we was going to use that, right? Okay. Nice and color, you come out now. Oh, Alright, so let's like go down a little bit. Have about uh, three minutes, four minutes, I bubble long you now, or is body heat? I eat on low heat just now, right? I bubble you now, and we're going to take it off. Let it be like cool, and then we're going to start with the flour, with the corn flour. Right, we're back again. Still on chicken. We're going to add some little stuff now. To finish it off here, you get the chicken coming down. So we added some fresh side with scallions. Well, frozen, I have them, right? We added some celery. I added a little bit of paprika powder. It's totally optional, you don't have to add it if you want. All these things are just flavors, right? I'll show, them, I'll show them how good the frozen products is coming now. Paprika help with a nice little color and all as well. You know that whitey, whitey color with the chicken? If you want to do it with some um, uku, you can do it with some uku as well. If you want, you know, anything you want to do it with, you want to stew it. You want to put sugar and stew it, you could do that as well. But this is really nice color now. Yeah, now look at the color for you. I thought it's a fresh orange juice. Let me see. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a fresh orange juice. I can't get fresher than this. Eh? How does it taste? Orange juice. <laughs> Yes, Ellie Belly. Yes, Ellie Belly. Look how she blushes. You blushes. 
Guys, Eddie is a little video girl, eh? You like you like the, the subscribers? Yeah? Oh you're talking? Alright. Oh. Say hi. Alright. Did you still drink any orange juice? Alright. So that's how I keep turning everything, keep it keep it cooperating, everything they're working together nice. They come like you're marinating with chicken here. Right, that's why it's full of flavor. So the tomato paste, the paprika, everything working real, real nice. Good color. You see the little greenery seasoning, the, um, the celery on the side. Yeah, so guys, it's smelling top of the line. Yep. Little tasty and sweet tasty. Yeah. On point. All right. So it's only so thick, then I'll be ready. Right, this is what you want. You want to water it up. Keep turning it. Keep turning it, turning it till it's gonna. This is the moisture you're looking for right now. Right, but just have a little thing too much. You want to just get the rid of the little bit excess in the bottom. Right, so only we cook up to about two minutes again. And that's it for this. Alright, so we turn out the stove here as the final product okay? here. You see, you see that big excess of water. Spread that stick a bit. Like moist and nice. You don't want it too dry, right? So this is really hot. The corn, the, the dough mixture for the pasta wouldn't take long. About five minutes to make. So what we're going to do, we're going to take out some in a plate. Right, and spread it all like cooler. So by the time we're done, we'll start to mix up. We'll start to add it in and start to wrap these pasta to make, right? Christmas pastels. Right, so not nice and moist it is. Really nice color, guys. See, so on the day, watch. No service, no service, excess of sauce, but it's moist and nice. Right, so we use this now. And let it cool off, you can leave this, you can, or you can take out some of the next plate. Let it cool off again while it's going, right? Get away too hot when you work to work with it, right? Right, guys, so you're using the flour mixer for this. You will save us a lot of time. We're using the, this one, the Donna Reaper. Donna Reaper. It's ideal for empanadas, arepas, tortillas, tamales, pastels, and humitas, right? So it's 2.2 pounds. So we're using this. We got this reasonable, but guys, remember this is double the amount of water and leave it with the corn. The corn will expand and the corn flour expand a lot, right? So we add the corn flour, let's add it, have it a little more than half after now. We add in some salt. Let's have a tablespoon of salt. And add the water first, and incorporate it first, we'll add while you're going along, right? You just take a lot of water. This corn flour does absorb this really fast, eh? Right, so as you done here, I'm just kind of drying it. So you now, see the oil and flour don't absorb, all the water don't absorb. We add in two full tablespoons of butter, normal table, table margarine. This sunflower butter we use, right? We're going to top with this again. And then we're going with the rest of um, we're going with the rest of the corn, the corn flour and the um, and the water. Okay, so let's go bring it in. I'm bringing the ends together inside, honey. Oh, 
Right, we add in some more water again. We have a, 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 little, a little less than half pack of oxtail, right? You could use a normal basin hand mix it if you want. You know, we just add this so you save a lot of time, a lot of energy, right? I know some people will say, nah, I, really, I prefer hand mix it, no problem at all. rest now, get us a little soft, eh? So you just want to work from the add the rest now, you work from here and make sure that they don't come out too soft. So this is just 2.2 pound flour, like 1 kg of flour, the corn flour, but this will make a lot guys, this will make a whole lot. I think we should get over probably over 30, 40 pastels. Right, so we it here. Texture feeling really good, right? Watch, right? Feeling really good. So we go work with that, right? So it's what you call the bowl full. So we go show you the next step with this. We just take it, we ball it out. We ball it, roll it out in a ball. Crazy the, the banana leaf. Press it. If you have a panini press, way better. But we do all that, so I don't know if you try that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's put it in the leaf top and bottom. Let's press it nice flat now. Yeah. 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 Alright guys, so we try to cut some of the fig leaf here, the banana leaf right now. Right, so you want to get the best. You want to see when you get any banana leaf. Not that it came up too much, we got some out. Well, how we get it yesterday, it was in the box, it's sore. It's um, some kind of rip up, so we're working like what we have. Try the best to see what we could get, right? So, we're looking like about eight. Turn this with you. Like eight by inch pieces, eight by eight pieces you're looking for, right? So that's um the big, the bigger the leaf. It's like this one. If you put it, you get a real small one. By the time you lap it, if you do it so, it will be a real small one. This will be like this inside here alone. Yeah, I know. You know, so it's this one real small. But we will see what we can work with. And um. Yeah. No, it is these two pieces. Right. You will make it long so and see this work now. Alright, okay, this one real small, so you can probably put here. You will lap here a little bit, lap a little bit, you got easy length from here, right? So cut it down. And after you use the scissors and this. Right? And while you're washing the leaf on in here, after we go heat it on the stove, soft it up, and then we go start to play down and start to wrap them now from there, right? So, right, so, so you try that technique here. Uh, 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 it was looking real good just after now. After you start yeah? to oh, put any oil. Yeah. But this, watch it, scoop out from a spoon. Yeah, but, this but then you get one measurement yeah, and roll, one. right? Roll it real fast. Gimme, gimme, that's gimme. Alright, so you're getting one size over this. 
Okay. Yeah. 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 So make some a little small and all because remember some of the pig is small. I haven't got enough for yeah. you. I haven't got enough for you to do. You think they enough for me? Yeah. I'm bored up some of daddy now. No. Alright, let me get to the food. I see we'll get about 30 to 40. We'll see how much you'll get, right? You can pick it. I'm too big. I will. Alright. You're not too big. I'm a little smaller than Andrew. A little smaller. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I think was a good size. Four mini ball real fast. You wanna cover them this guys when they're done? Because you don't want this to get hard. That's how they cover it. You do one thing. You don't want it to get that kind of hard you thing, right? Me? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I... Right guys, so we're going to start now with the wrapping of the pastel, right, um, we're going to show you three different techniques you could use, um, because you remember, like, for people abroad who can't get banana leaf, we're going to show you how to do it with pan and foil, so you want to get a taste of training home, you could make it with foil, um, you know, so we show you different options, and the options are spreading it out as well, right, so here we have the banana leaf here, Right, I'm gonna show you what we do here with the oil one. Right, using our brush. Let's dab it up on oil when you don't go in. Right, and we had this one oil a little bit here, right? So this is if the banana leaf was well heated already. You take in one, rest in it here. Now you could spread it with your hand like this. Right? That's how we do. Spread it with your hand out like this, you could use. Or you could use those are the little break up edges when it fold together. When it fold together, it will um it will close in back, right? So you don't want it too thick, too thin. This thick, this this um thickness is really good. Yeah, that's all baby. Okay. Yeah, then you don't want to add too much stuff in because you don't want it to burst open, right? Right, and it just fold to this part. And the, and the tape right down so right so watch the oil go release it back do the same for this side so this fig leaf doesn't heat too too good but we'll work with it tape right down here right see down closing up and then we do this side here press it down and then we do it here press it down so that's it just gonna wrap it here now that, that is wrapping it. yeah that's how we wrap as you see the figure don't heat properly it's breaking up right so you gotta heat the next like this now paint it in the foil paint it like this right and then you pull it kind of tight. Yeah, okay, baby. Pull it all tight. Wrap. Right? Pull in the corners. And you roll it in. Because they don't want to just lap it, they go up now. So roll it in. Or help pull the, the tightness in here, right? Right, and that's it here for this one. All right, there's one technique. Where your hands spread it out. We're gonna show you our next technique now. Oil here. Right, take it our next one. Press it here. This is one that I have oil now. What's what I'm doing with this one? Right, press it here. And the same floor bowl, using a bowl with a flat surface, it's working work like a, a panini press something, kind of level it, and it just press down. Right? When you raise now, you see the side all thicker. You just press. Right? We'll press this side all of it now. 
two. Right? Two As a next technique, you could use. Alright, same, same way again, you're going in. Same way, you're going in. And, and you like more meat than rice? I'm not going to say peanut butter. It's going to be closed. No, I like that. It's going to be closed. It's going to be closed. Right? It's going to be closed. When it's heat up, it's going to be closed. It's going to be closed. It's a nice size pastel. And it's stuffed really good. So you know you're getting that extra meat. Right? But you're going to rub this one here. Right, right, so we're gonna show you the next step now. The foil only. This is for people abroad who don't have the um the banana leaf, who can't get access into banana leaf. So I'm just using this, but you could use an extra piece of foil on top, right? And you can just press with your hand and also a little bit and then use the bowl, press it out in your hand with the next technique. Anyhow, you feel you could do it with the bowl. Now remember it's not up up and in the press would be a level press. This bowl say just watch for the side. A little tick, you press it on the, you know, press to a side, a little tick. It's looking good text here now, right? Hello. Two dice, so, you need every ingredient. One hundred. One hundred watches, you do. One hundred watches. It's for the house, eh? Yeah. Mind the wine, I have a wine. All the machine is full. One of the brush. I saw this piece right here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't And the power is heat all the corn you will cook and form together. Right? Right? And when you do like this one, just wrap it back. You do it aside the fig leaf here and just wrap it back in the next foil after. So it will kind of help seal the water from going in too much on it, right? So that's so that's the little really foil way. That's oily foil that's more to the outside. And they can use the foil. I saw people abroad because I know like people who live in New York. Cold countries. You won't get the banana leaves. So you could use the foil for the Christmas. Don't feel they can't get a case at really home, right? We'll just do over one and piece and for them now with the foil. No, no, they won't, they won't work in it, just, you know, it just... Yeah, we'll just do over one now. Start yeah, I'm going to do that side. Side. I have a full thing. Right. You want? Why not? You put the house. You put the house. Why does my eyes? 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 It is as I know. You can have me Or just more, so I give you a couple of them. Make sure you put a teapot on the end, right? Right? So, Mama does use foil and all? If you 
Yeah. Wrap it up in one. Yeah. Alright, so now close it up with the foil. Yeah. And we'll probably wrap everything so it'll seal all the yeah. water and all. Right? And you wrap it and then you can double it back in the foil. But it's still good here, right? So we got 14 all. We did one, two, three, four, five. What's how much you got in all? A one kg, two point two four. One, two. So that's all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, is that thirty six? And five is forty one we got. 41 nice size pastas of the 2.2 pounds, one, one kg, the corn, the corn, the corn flour, right? Mm -hmm. Now the pack said, the pack said corn meal, but they say this corn flour, um, I believe the corn flour, um, the corn meal is a little more grainier than the corn flour, right? Yeah. So, but it, it my corn meal, corn flour, but, but four, four pastas, right? So that's why we use that because we have the corn flour, the corn flour is the white one. And we didn't want that, we want the yellow color, right? So let's show you back again with the fig leaf now. Because I don't think we have to continue some at fall because we don't have all the, all the banana leaf as well. You want to do the oil? You can press it with your hand to touch it. I find that will be better. This one, so? No, this the, the, the bowl? So now it's come out. Mommy! Right? Mommy! Okay, chicken not dry, it's nice moist here. So, I have two other ways to do this. Um, it has some people that boil them in the water and it have people just steam them like in like pow right so it have be two different ways you could do it you want to steam it or you want to um boil it it's totally optional to you how you want to do it right I would, I would do one. right so if you have a little help you know um while we wrapping somebody wrapping with the foil Right, and it have also, you could use the string, the twine, and you could burn it with the twine, if you want. But I assume it will be foil it so fast, and it works really good. And remember guys, when you make a set of pastels, you could make a hundred pastels. It can last in the fridge up to probably about 10 days. What? Oh, in the fridge? In the fridge, and it can last in your freezer, sometimes six months to a year, it can last in the freezer. And it's so, e it's so easy to preheat, so why do you usually take it? And just uh, take off the foil, open up the fig leaf and put it in the microwave and how long it takes to cook? In the microwave, about two minutes? Yeah. And it works really good, right? Daddy, Hawaii Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Look at Lucia did one. <laughs> right? So, and why if you just enjoy it all year round? Daddy, when she feels it in the pasta, she just take off and eat it. So what you could do, like if you make two different types of pasta, like probably beef Daddy, and chicken Daddy. or pork and lamb, whatever, Take a marker and just mark it. When you're done boiling, when you cool off the freeze, mark it on the um on the foil, like whether it's L or P or B or whatever it is, right? So you have an idea what it is. Right? So we're gonna finish up all this all this here now. And we're gonna show you every cooking process now. So if it will go like this, and it's in the freezer, you can just boil it water and I know some people just store it raw and all as well, right? You store it raw like this. And so the freezer when you're ready, if you eat it in the stove. You heat it on the stove uh, on the boiling water and cook it fresh, yeah. right? But it works really good. It works really good with the um, that cooking and, and just um, preheat in the microwave. Right? So let me finish up all this now. And you may cutting these leaves like an average on an 8 by 8 size. An 8 by 8 size, you're cutting it. Right? The foil can be a little bigger because you wither the foil. Right, so you're just going to wrap out all this now? Mommy, give me, mommy, give me. Thank you, mommy. You're welcome, mommy. Mommy, 
Are you going to have a little bit? And you'll get back to me to cook it with this one. Right, so Anusha line up all the pastas here in a line. So we're going to start to prepare the boilet. You did the delivery good? Yes. And I will give you one to one. Okay, so you're going to boil, cook them and eat them now? Yes. Okay. So let me bring it on top of the table and pack them on top of the table for daddy now so daddy pay them the boil. Hi right, guys, you can see me quiet here now. Everybody going to shower and then. The wrap out all the pastels, so the pastel, 41 pastels we get. The share from here. Right? It's 8, 9, nine 10 by 4 is 40. And you want to have 41. So usually we steam it, people steam it or you boil it. So add the pot of water and the pot to boil. Right? So when you pay the boil, it just take about 10 to 15 minutes to boil if you're steaming. It will take about 30 minutes to steam, right? It will take a little extra time. So we're it to boil here. We're going to send it along to boil. We'll cover the pot. And so while it was wrapping, I could have put the boil while it was wrapping. And I could have boiled out that set already. We just wait to finish to get a little room on the stove. It just was a little lucky, but my kitchen not all that big, right? So. We're going to boil here, check in our 50 minutes, we'll cover it on the cover, right? Our 50 minutes, we'll check it, we'll open one, show you the texture inside, remember the meat is already cooked. It's just ready to cook this, the cornmeal, to hold it together, to cook that, that all how to cook. The meat already fully cooked, fully seasoned, and that's it, right? So we're going to put the rest here, we'll get back when we show you, when we to taste it this time. Right guys, so it's been about... 15 minutes now about 12 about 12 minutes it is average we'll check one and see it has 15 remain on the table so you will check let me check this one this one foil look like a change color now yeah it's like this on top here so we'll probably take more from the underneath put them aside and we'll see let me open this one we'll check out this one look here oh this one why wife easy pasta lover wife you come and taste that's that one all right guys so this is the plated product here final product let me show you looking cool so nice and close up let's see now Not too thick, not too thin. Look at that all here. Mm hmm. Mm. Is it now, let me see? Yeah, you want to taste it first? Now nah, you taste, you see pasta lava, not me. Just right here, everybody. Which is too. Mm hmm. One point. I'm going to taste now then. Hmm. On point. I don't shock myself with this thing, you know. What's that? The best of the best. Why am I going to go to point? Belly, got them. It's perfect. You know, for some actually eat one as a done cook. Sure. Mm hmm. What the inside? Normally, um, when I help, when I make it, I don't eat it. You see, I'm sucking my fingers, licking it all there. He's in boss. You ready for me? No, it's not too little piece. No, I didn't. Early. Early. Early belly full. No, what? you see something now. I really don't eat unless you see me eat it. See? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, let's see, eat it first. Yeah. A piece you melt it. Now she know. So that's it here. We go for the set. What's the antiquity is this? So this little boy, she said, keep she set raw. Okay. And she go cook she set after. Okay. Wait, wait, wait up again. Let me I gotta cool out. Alright, so we're gonna take all that and Lick a mama. Dingling. Lick a dingling. Lick a mama. I like a pain house boy. Long time. He did that a long time ago. You will have a made us to me every Hey guys, so that's it here. Any edition. Trini out and about. With the Trini style pastel by yours truly, Mr. Knockapot. Top of the line. Chotok Motok. No line, no mama guy. This recipe on point. And remember, you do have. Hmm. You do have to get the banana leaf to make it. So you live in abroad, you can't get the banana leaf. You could make it with the foil. Remember, you're using the foil. Use the shiny side of the foil to put the pasta to fold the pasta on so it will release a little easier with the oil than from the kind of dull side, right? So amazing pasta guys. Nice pasta on point. Alright, so hope you enjoy. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos. Right? And don't forget to check out the sister channel to the flavor. And I'm right, gonna send love to each and every one of our subscribers. Um because of you, we're here where we yesterday. Right? And we do appreciate that much, much, much. We appreciate that, right? Um, Ronald, the Harry, his wife and his mom, and his children, sending love to you, bro. Right? Uh, much love and blessings to you and your family. Sergeant Andrew Paul, um, all Ottawa, Canada, sending love to each and every one of you, right? Um, you and Marika Mala, and everyone. So that's it here. Hope you'll enjoy. Until next edition of Trinia Out and About, stay good, man. Knock up one.